All right, guys, I might be working on another random auto, uh, random, a random auto auctious purchase. This is a Porsche 968, 1995 convertible. Also a, uh, a 996, that's a 99. The 99s are good because they're less likely to have the IMS problem. Also, this one is Manuel, but so is this one. This is not the original color. It was originally black and it's been repainted, but this color is amazing. There's a good one too. That's an 05. The nice thing about the 05, you go back to the decently looking round headlights versus the 996, but this one is an automatic and 100,000 miles, which is fine. So the people have been looking at it, the seat's soaked, but I like the weird ones, not the weird ones, but. I've read good things about these. Apparently they're the most reliable of the 928 and the 944. And then they share a lot of parts with that and the 993. And they're supposed to be pretty, they're actually supposed to be quicker than this. So I don't really fit in this. That's interesting. Cause I've had a, I've had a 996 and actually I just barely fit, but this is much tighter. But look, there's a crap ton of room back there. Is there, oh. Is there behind the driver's seat? Yeah. So that's all right. These seats look new because they do not match the rest of the car. I guess they probably tried and kind of matched. Not really. Let's see if it starts. This is weird. This is the only Porsche I've seen with a key on the uh, right hand side. I don't know if this means anything. There is a like a sunroof button, but this is clearly not a sunroof top. That looks like it's missing. All right, what's supposed to be there? There's one of these over here but not over here. You might know what that means. All right, let's see if it starts up. All right, I don't really fit in this thing. It's hard to put the both down at the same time. All right. Well, it started kind of squealy. Squealy, good or bad. So that was a cold start. It didn't have a brake fluid low, interesting. Parking brake. Where's the parking brake? All right, parking brake is on. Let me just check it. Let's see if I can pop the hood. Nope, I don't know where it is. Oh, he got it. A lot of times these things are already popped at an auction. I got two clocks. That's nice. Actually, that's probably a radio. Is that playing something? seat situation i can definitely push these back you go just you get there's a thing called extend my seat and you buy these extra frame rails so for somebody like me that's six four it makes a pretty big difference and we now have this guy trying to pop the hood i don't know what's going on i'm just gonna sit and enjoy my car there's some buttons down here that okay look the buttons to adjust the seat are like right next to the parking brake so that, that's fun somebody was thinking when they designed that i don't know how to lift this up it doesn't look like this thing goes up at all. How can I have less room in this than I have in that little MG? Oh well. Still like it. Don't roll anywhere. A little bit damp back there. I'm sure this is just leaking somewhere. I like the little... Oh look, another little door. Ooh, lots of storage. All right, so it's a potential. This is this guy's favorite um, auction purchase. The Gen 2? Yep. Gen 2 Prius. Very reliable. And if you got a good person to help you fix the battery after 150,000 miles or even better. And then this is my other, uh, okay. what is this? This is a, um, a 328, right? 05, 328? They only did 325 So this is a 325. It is automatic though. All right, this is inside that. The 2005 325. Uh, looks like somebody tried to re-glue that poorly smells a bit moldy one of these things these, oh there's the front grills are missing but they're right there so they probably just have some broken tabs that's easy to fix i like fixing stuff like that i don't know if that is mold or maybe somebody spilled their chai tea every time they drove it these little handles always like look terrible at auction let's see let's see if we can start this thing sometimes they're dead mm, starts right up 150,000 miles. Oh, no, 81,000. What the hell did the 150? Th oh, that might have been. You saw that, though. It said something different. Smells like a BMW. Somebody's cranked up the heat. I'm going to stay here for a while. He's checking out the engine code on that Prius over there. 
This one has no check engine light, which is either means the check engine light is broken or somebody's recently cleared it. You know, this is a pretty good looking car. Stuff like this fixes pretty easy. Well, no, I don't actually, I don't know. I've never done that, but like, that's the kind of stuff that's fun to try to fix. Like I don't like replacing engines or anything, but cleaning up some green mold, clean, just detailing the interior. The door handles are like all, they have all kind of off brand ones on the, uh, on uh, Amazon just because they look so bad in so many years. I can't tell you anything else about this car. It's got a sunroof. So that probably leaks. That's probably why that went bad. Cause these sunroof drains leak and they leak right to the floorboard. This doesn't feel bad, but it also could just be because uh it's wet so everything feels damp i like the green that's maybe i'll just stain them all green this is another one we watched for a while it's like a 97 vw like camper van this thing is awesome a yeah, 97 euro van it's in good shape on the inside but I, it just it ran for a few weeks and they never got what they wanted for it they wanted like fourteen thousand. And I don't know why it's still here. It hasn't been up on the auction in a long time. But uh, this thing is cool. A little awning. It's got the rooftop camper. And then look inside. A little Coleman fridge. That's plastic, but whatever. Coffee maker. Oh, man. This is all cool looking stuff. This all feels nice. There's a bench. This one folds into a bed, I think, because it was in the picture. So this folds into a bed. It's got a lot of little storage, but it's still got the uh, rooftop bed too. I really wanted this one, but it just never ran. All right, ran for two weeks and then it quit running, but it's still here. Which is weird because it's not on the listing anymore, but I would like that thing. Sometimes we like to just check out the cars. We know we would never be able to get. Oh, we could, but you know, we like the old stuff. Mach 1. I like the color too. There's a little boxer. What what the hell is that? So 2013. Ah, uh, and this one's stick. Yeah. I do I do not fit in boxers. And there's no extra room. I like these Broncos too, and I really like the little two door versions. These are good looking little cars. I think my daughter likes these, and she's uh 12. So like you know, I'm not gonna get her a new one, but. Four years, this will be a what year is it? 13, 17, an eight, nine year old car. That's when we're starting to get in range of maybe I can get it. There's a good looking one over there, too. What is this one? They took all the badges off. It was, now it's just a triangle, whatever that shape is. Star, is it gonna start? Here's my little Porsche. Love you. Did it not start? Yeah. Dead battery. All right, guys, final auction report. The uh, Eurovan, the 1997 Eurovan, did not end up running. So who knows what the story is with that. The BMW 325, it ended up around 5,500, which was too expensive for our blood. The final bid on the 05911 was like 18,000, which ended up in a no sale. The manual 996911 went for just over 16000 which was a good deal for that car. And last but not least, the final bid on the 968 was $6,000, and that was our bid. So we are now the proud owners of a 1995 Porsche 968. All right, guys, we are back from the auction. Today, it's sunny, but it's windy as crap. The good little BMW wagon. I think it's got a super bunch of miles on it. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh. All right, you can start. Oh, no, it's not. Windows, oh, look, taped. Battery's dead. Oh, never mind. Ne Ooh, look at that Civic. Oh, that's an Amazon van. That's my favorite store. I wonder if that uh, Euro van's still over there also. Oh, look, there's a little blue Tesla. That looks good, too. I still haven't figured out what this lane is right here. So I'm not gonna mess in there too much. What is this? 2008 Civic Type R. Pretty. Oh God. I like this thing, let's see. Ooh, look, a full tank of gas. That's super rare. Man, why is this in lane? 
So lane one is kind of like this. I don't know why this is here. I like this. Nah, it doesn't do anything. It's a blue Audi R8. You know, Hoovy bought one of these on Hoovy's garage and never could get it started. And it was blue. And then he sold it to Tavares. I have not seen it on Tavares' channel, so maybe this is that one. Because I've never been in one, so we get to do that today. Let's see. Whew. All right, what we got? So, seat all the way back. How do you start it? Oh, come on. Why is it in neutral? Interesting. That's interesting. So I guess you put it in auto or plus or minus. Oh, look at some nice little book for the thing. Good little red seats. Ash tray for your cigarettes. I can't tell you guys anything about this car, but this is clearly not Hoovies or Tavares's because it started. I, it was a neutral when I got in, so I'm gonna put it back in neutral. Yeah. What are you supposed to look for on these? Anybody know? God, it smells terrible. <laughs> it really does smell like... All right, I'm going to put this thing off. It smells like it's on fire. Or just oil. Have you ever had an Audi that didn't smell like oil? Do they get... Mm. That smells like you can smell. All right, turn it off before we set it on fire. It blows up. Other than a new engine... Swap it with that little MG engine. I wonder if something like this would make a good camper van. Let's see how big it is inside. Uh, somebody's been murdered. Oh wow, somebody already started. Heck yeah, that's what somebody tried to do with this. They blocked their windows. This is a good murder van. They put some uh, insulation already. Good sound deadening. I can stand up. If I put a floor, that's how, that's, that's me standing up. If, uh, if I put in a floor and a proper ceiling, I couldn't stand up. I could like Igor it. But you gotta wonder why it's in, <gasps> I could turn that into a sleeping position for my least favorite child. It's a lot of room. It would definitely be better than the uh, pilot, but eh, I don't like this one. I'd rather have the Amazon van. A little Z4. Eleven hundred fifty thousand miles. That should be fun. Little rainbow. That's cute. Does the top work? Where's it gonna go? What the? Sh that was kind of cute. That was, I like the way that moved. Oh yeah, this is a classic BMW yeah, all buttons. The buttons are, all of them are worn off here. Yeah, you shouldn't push those too often. No. I think you get like 10 before the paint starts to wear off. Oh, that's nice. Set in the sun. All right, am I gonna fit with the top now? Barely. Whoa, that was a good sun glare. Boxsters. Yeah. This one ran last week, but it was, uh, it only went to like 5,000, so they didn't let it go. Where's the key? It doesn't work. That should be pop. Let's see if we can jump it. Oh, look, we got stuff. Ready? Yep. Still not. Hold on. Is your bed jump box dead? No, I charged it before I left. It's way dead. For some reason. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Now we got the Ford murder van. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. It's been less murdered out. I don't know what this is. Some little sound panels. I like this one. This one is definitely shorter. Yeah, I had the floor and the ceiling. I'm super egored in this. And then there's no tiny bed to shove the kids into above the seat. 
That looks kind of nice though. And you definitely, it's still, you, you got more to deal with than I did in my pilot. Oh, never mind, it's the Punishers. Let's see if uh, anybody's dead in the side of it. That's been punished. This thing will do oh, soon. look. That's awesome. I don't know, he's climbing. Look at this wood, though. Oh, look, <laughs> it's just little pieces of plastic cranked in the grooves. <laughs> Oh, and that's nice. Is that snake skin? Yes. It gives it a patina. Nay! Oh, wait, that's not a deer. There's some nice tires, though. I mean, that's a thousand bucks used. A tire? All right, guys, we're done. We found it. Holy grail of cars. <laughs> Holy. Ah! <laughs> the best electric car. You guys didn't watch my damn video, though. Or watch it. It's a good golf car. Oh my, this one smells bad. All right, let's see what kind of range we got. 24, where's the battery thing? There you go. One and a half hours to charge, three. Yeah, so it probably has about 35, 36. It was at 36 or 38 okay. miles the other day. In That's the picture. Terrible for one of these. So it's the last one was half its charge driving around the parking lot. <laughs> oh, I can put it in eco mode. I know how to do that. And it gets me two more miles. That got a 34 miles. The AC was on. Guys, all right, watch this. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right, so no eco mode, AC on. That's our 24. Yeah, man. That's pretty good. These are uh, Eddie Bauer edition of the. Ford Explorer and Expeditions I always liked. I bet you this would make a good um, camper build. You can have a lot more room than in that pilot. Let's see if I can lay down right there. Why won't, why won't this open? Unlocked. Oh, it's locked. Unlocked all the things. Ah! Oh, good Oh, shit. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> right. Oh, it's just a button. Those are the other buttons over here. Right. That's a nice little a bit of rust right there. Oh, fancy. That'll break. Wow. Hey, what's all that up there? Uh, uh, the car? What are you talking about? All right, I'm going to see if I can lay down. Could I make this a camper? I'm not doing anything. All right, so I do lay down in it. I wonder if you could kind of do something similar like I did with the other pilot. And have one, two, three. How do you get these seats up? All right, so look. I could get rid of this seat and the thing I'm sitting in. Oh, let me roll out. Get rid of that seat and that seat and i can still have four people in this this would be a good, i don't want this one but like a newer one that would be a good camper build when did they quit doing the eddie bauer all right guys the last uh, car we're checking out today not the cadillac the uh turbo a 997 turbo so weird when these cars kind of randomly show up in this auction Why? That's the problem. It's, um, it's automatic. I don't care. I take it. It's got a flat teary. A flat teary. The back right one. It really says back right? Yeah, the tire looks fine. Good and feels like good, but something with the gas, it did not want to go. What are the warning lights? Just the tire pressure. Is it this one? Is it backward? 
because of the German. I don't know if you just have to get on. Yeah, let me try. Why is that noise? Is that like because of the seat? No. Yes. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I got it. oh, you know what, too? It's it's starting in second. It's got that Tiptronic. It learns how you drive. And if you're driving it kind of wussy, it'll just go ahead and start it in second. Here, hold this for a second. Are you looking for the drugs? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> 40 grand. 40 grand, so. <laughs> Clear cut. I know Jeremy. No, it was in Missouri. Yeah, why would you get that R8 when you could, you could get this? Oh, look, it's not even a, t oh, I, these don't have the lock on them, so I, I, it, it won't see to have it. It How won't see to have it. Start? We probably weren't driving fast enough to activate it. Look at this, you can call people. Yeah. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Eight six seven five. Oh, it's like an airplane though, like all the buttons and stuff. Yeah, that's so you can really concentrate while you're driving. You can still see the engine in these without taking off a bunch of plastic. All right, guys, it's time for final result of the auction. The Honda R-Type Civic went for just over thirty-three thousand, which was what was expected. No surprise there. The R8 did not run. I guess they decided to try to fix something. We'll see if it runs in the following week. The Z4 did not run. Who knows what happened with that, but we'll look for it in the future. The Boxster S didn't run either. I guess uh, they couldn't get that thing running. This didn't run, but it showed up in the after sales. They want like 8000 for it. The Leaf sold for $1,000, which is a super... I mean, the battery alone is worth that. This one didn't run. They actually moved it to the... TRA section, which means you get what you get, no promise that it runs. And our favorite, the 911 Turbo, the final bid was 68000 which that was a no sale. But it did disappear from auction. Somebody must have offered them something they want more than that. We will never know. I, but I think they wanted around 74000 for it. Alright guys, if you like these kind of videos, let me know. We're still trying to figure out the channel and exactly what we're going to post regularly. But for now, we're just going to keep doing whatever strikes our fancy. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and check out our other videos. Until next time.